Have you ever wondered how Mozart shaped the symphony, that grand form of musical expression we all know and love? Well, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, sit back and relax as we take a journey through time, exploring the remarkable influence of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on the development of the symphony. Picture a young Mozart, a prodigy absorbing influences from the Mannheim School, renowned for its disciplined orchestral playing and dramatic effects. This early influence is evident in his initial symphonies, yet the ever-evolving Mozart didn't stop there. He began to stretch the symphony's boundaries, extending its length and complexity. Fast forward to Mozart's mature symphonies. Symphonies number 39, 40 and 41. Each of these works is a testament to Mozart's growth as a composer. They are not only longer, but also more complex than his earlier works, showcasing his expanding musical imagination. Now imagine the sounds of Symphony No. 40 in G minor. This symphony is a prime example of Mozart's innovative use of form. He introduces unexpected harmonic twists and turns, manipulates themes in novel ways, and explores a wide spectrum of moods and characters. This symphony, with its intense emotional expression, is a clear demonstration of Mozart's mastery. As we move forward in time, we see Mozart's influence reverberating in the works of later composers. Consider Ludwig van Beethoven, a titan in his own right, who drew heavily from Mozart's symphonies when crafting his own masterpieces. And then there are the romantic maestros like Franz Schubert and Johannes Brahms, who continue to evolve and expand the symphonic form, building on the robust foundations that Mozart had laid. As our journey comes to an end, we stand in awe of Mozart's transformative contributions to the symphony. His symphonies, celebrated for their melodic beauty, structural clarity and emotional depth, have forever imprinted the symphonic genre. Mozart's influence is a symphony in itself, a melody that continues to play, resonating through the ages.